There are everyday news of dog menace across India. And you're all aware of the severe injuries and even deaths caused by these dogs across the country unless you are a subhuman hypocrite. As for the recent WHO figures, 36% of the world's total rabies death occur in India at a staggering 20,847 in the last year, the highest in the world. Sadly, majority of the cases are 5 to 15 year old kids. And there are a lot of protests against the alleged mass killing of dogs in certain areas of India. There are even dedicated Twitter handles and Facebook pages to malign this particular state and mostly using photos from the Yuling festival that happened in China, uh, changing the hashtag from hashtag stop Yuling 2015 to hashtag boycott that particular state. But I had my own thoughts about the whole issue and I think there are five strong reasons why India needs stray rabbit dogs on its streets. Number one, population control. India is a very populous country with 1.2 billion and counting, duh. We've been trying so hard to check the population growth, not very successful with it. With every friend, family and acquaintance asking about when is the good news coming, right after the marriage, it's really hard for every Indian to not have as many kids as possible as soon as possible. So with the rabbit dogs running around the streets and killing people, are actually doing a better job at population control than the health workers walking around the streets of villages doing their thing and trying to convince people to castrate themselves. And not just killing, but also scare people to make more babies. Because the kid can slip into the street and the rabid dogs could bite him into pieces to either kill on the spot or make him suffer and die later with rabies. I think it's a better reason for not to have kids than people asking you to castrate themselves. And speaking of cutting your thing off, Dogs are actually doing a good job in that too. I'm pretty sure that they will eventually come to the right things and cut them off. They're trying so hard. Number two, a forest station. Ever worried about diminishing forest? That rabbit dogs could be the answer to that. Our dear donkey minister, oh, sorry, women and child development minister has said with her love for living organisms, except human maybe, that when a dog chases you, find a tree to climb on. Finally, we may start planting some trees to escape from the dogs. Maybe you are being confused for a monkey for climbing a tree in a moment's notice, but you better not correct them. If they find out that you are a human being, you may never get a chance. Number three, economic growth. The dogs are actually doing a good job at improving economy, one bite at a time. You may ask how? Well, I thought so. Do you know that pharmaceutical industry consists of 12% of India's manufacturing GDP? So here's the math. More stray dogs, more dog bites, more deported cases of potential rabies case, more rabies vaccine, well it's 5 shots per case. Which improves the sales in pharmaceutical industry and that improves the Indian GDP and that in turn catapults the Indian economy into the space. True story. And we are talking only about the medicine to save human life so far, which nobody gives a damn anyways. There's a vaccine for dogs as well. And only 15% of the dogs in India are vaccinated. I don't want to go into the math of it, you do it. And by the way, there are conspiracy theories that the dog safety protests are fueled by the pharmaceutical companies. So basically, the Indian economy is fueled by some rabid dogs. Maybe some pun intended. Number four, ban ideas. This is a no brainer. The government is on a ban spree. Noodles, beef, porn, meat all together, opinions against politicians, the parts of history they don't like, and still counting. They're running out of ban ideas and already want to stoop onto your late night chat with your chick and your sexting with your girlfriend. Before they run out of ideas on things to ban and demand to see you in your bedroom to confirm that you're confirming to the Indian culture, let them have some ideas to keep them busy. Point A. Ban human access to the street which has stray dogs because it can be a provocation to the dogs. 
just like women getting out of house can be a provocation to rape. Point B. Ban all meat in the country because the dogs are not actually biting you, but they are trying to eat the meat that you ate last week. Point C. Ban any words spoken against stray dogs, including shooting them away and not feeding them with your own flesh and running away from them declaiming their right to food, which is you. And point D. This one I like. Ban leashes on every dog. Because leases are against dog rights and leases should be banned. Coming to the main list, number five, Make in India campaign. Elan Kurdi. Remember the name? Okay, some of you don't know. Do you remember liking and sharing and commenting on a picture of a dead Syrian refugee boy washed ashore? No? Wearing a red shirt and blue shorts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, why did we do that? to somebody who is not from India. You know, sending all your pity and sympathy to somebody born in Syria? Come on, we could have made our own island Cody. There has already been reports of kids being disfigured by dog bites, including their face being ripped apart. Last week, there was a boy who was killed in Vaisak by dog bites, and the dogs stepped their game up this time. They killed him and uh, ripped open his stomach and pull out all his intestines <laughs> and those kind of pictures are what we need for more empathies to inspire more sand sculptures and like and comments and shares on social media you don't have to do that for a foreign kid when we say make in india we should mean it including the victims to be celebrated in social media i guess that's it let me know what you think of the video by commenting below. If you like the video, do click thumbs up and share among your friends in all the social media. Do subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Ciao.